This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. The United States today marks its birth as a nation. President Trump has added some new features, such as a show of military equipment and a presidential speech at the Lincoln Memorial. He's billing it as a salute to America and the show of a lifetime. On the cost of the show, the president says it will be very little compared to what it's worth. Meanwhile, Vice President Mike Pence attended the swearing-in of 44 new citizens of the United States. AP's Rita Foley has more. I pledge allegiance to the flag. The 44 new Americans are from 26 nations. There's an electrician among you, a banker. There's a college counselor, an IT. Vice President people. Pence greeted the new citizens at the National Archives in Washington, home to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. You followed the law. You went through the process to immigrate into this great nation. The Trump administration has featured a hard-line immigration policy, which the president says is meant to keep the country safe. Rita Foley, Washington. Three days after the United States and the North Korean leaders held a historic third meeting, North Korea's UN min mission accused the administration of talking about dialogue but being more and more hell-bent on hostile acts. AP correspondent Karen Shamas. A press statement from the mission pointed a finger at U.S. efforts to exert what it called overt pressure and have the world's nations implement UN sanctions. The United States and 23 other countries accused the DPRK of violating UN sanctions by importing far more than the annual limit of 500,000 barrels of refined petroleum products, which are key for its economy. North Korea's UN mission said the United States and others sent a joint letter to all UN member states on the same day that President Trump proposed the North Korea-US summit meeting, calling for repatriation of DPRK workers abroad. I'm Karen Shamas. This is VOA News.